Hey guys, you watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Tudor Mansion. I'm just finishing off the bathroom here. Am I going to be stuck? I'm going to be stuck. <laughs> I've finished off the bathroom here with a nice roof on top. Uh, I've done a really cool floor. I've used two different blocks, being iron blocks and then the stone slabs, you know, these ones here. Uh, and I think they go really, really well together. I've never used iron blocks well before when when you first start minecraft the first thing you always seem to build and this includes me the first thing you seem to build is a giant house made out of diamond gold and iron <laughs> and emerald now and uh, you always do you always make a big square house a big cube of it and make it into your house and uh, ever since i've wanted to make something good out of iron and i think a nice floor here goes quite well we do need a little bit of light in here i think a nice beacon would go well better than torches at least in here maybe just the one like that i think that's pretty good maybe one above here as well yeah like a double light one move this one back a little bit Oh, perfect. Yeah, right above the bath. Okay, and then grab those. So today, today I want to try and do the hallway. I want to be. I want to connect all of these rooms that we've done so far up together. And we can do that by doing this sort of long L-shaped hallway here. Maybe even the stairs as well, if possible. So let's grab our spruce and our snow. And I probably won't be doing all of this together. But, like, we want to always cover up the bricks the only bit of brick that we've got visible so far in the house is actually in the bathroom there behind the bath for multiple reasons one i actually thought it looked quite nice uh it took the uh, uh, the sort of effect uh, or the what would you call it the whiteness away from the room it just adds that little bit of brick to it and secondly if we did put anything behind it it's very likely that we would have ended up with like a giantly white room <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and a lot smaller as well, uh, since so we would have to take up one block of the the actual room. You'll be surprised how much space that actually takes up. So you want to come up this one, and up this one. Now it's going to come to a point in an episode or two's time where I just won't bother showing you this on camera anymore uh, i don't like to do the same thing every episode but at the beginning here or you know still at the beginning of the interior i don't like to cut this kind of thing out just yet because some of you that just don't quite know how it goes i don't want you to get lost um but yeah it's pretty much as simple as that that looks all right doesn't it down that wall down this one i think i am going to put another log there and then Four blocks high with the acacia. And then have uh, just two across the top there. I don't know. I just really like the acacia wood in the door frames. It makes the door frames really, really stand out. And uh, I really, really like it. This doorway. Oh, yeah. This is for underneath the stairs. I don't think I'm going to have the acacia wood around there. I think that's a little bit too small. Um... I've got, have I got a one, I do have a one wide door with a case wood around it in the bathroom, but I don't think the stairs are important enough. Underneath the stairs are that important to have its own border around it. It'll just be like sort of more of a hidden door, if anything else, just a standard normal door. And then if at the end of the series you guys are still enjoying it like we did with the last one, we can extend it a little bit by building a small basement. It's like a bonus room as long as everybody's still enjoying it, isn't it? Okay, so we want another one. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four. And one, two. For the floor in this hallway, we want to go back to a wood design. We don't want any, any whites like the bathroom or um, the greys like the kitchen. We want to go back to a wood, but we want to make sure, or try at least, to make sure that we blend the floor into the uh, one of the lounges, the entertainment lounge that we've got through there. See, this is looking pretty sick. <laughs> I like that. Oh, in the bathroom, I think I wanted just one little touch up of a nice black shelf just in front of that window. I don't know. I just thought it looked look nice. Uh, maybe you can put some pictures or something there. So let's come back down this way. This is the current floor that we have in here. It's like this diagonal one. 
okay? What we want to try and do is, is blend this floor into that room without it looking like an abrupt change. To do that, if we used oak here, the oak will go here, which is still in line with the pattern of this room, but then we can also bring the pattern forward, or not the same pattern, but we can bring the floor forward, and it should blend in quite nicely. We don't have to use spruce as the other one if we don't want to. We might end up, but we don't have to. Uh, but from here, you know what would be good? To go for the old 2x2 two two pattern. Like this. I'll tell you why. Because then we can use whatever block. We need to use a block that's different to spruce. So I think I'm going to go with a birch for a nice light hallway. Now check this out. Check this out. Let's just do a little section here. Now that blends in really nice to each other. It's not an abrupt change. Although it goes from spruce to birch. Because of the oak. Oh, but I've done it out of line. It should be that one. That one, that one, that one, like that, and then like that. Yeah, be because it's um, it goes from spruce to birch here, but because the oak is sort of wrapping itself around, it makes a much nicer transition, not quite as abrupt or as urgent as it was before. I'm not sure if I like the birch yet, though. It might be too close to the white. What if, what if we used a log? Let's say spruce logs as they have a slightly darker face. And we put them in this way up. I sort of like that, but I don't think spruce is the one. Dark oak is even darker on the face. So you can see there's it's like it's in shadow. No, I think I like it. I think I like it's sort of touching more on a grey colour. No, I think we're gonna go for that. It's definitely different, isn't it? We haven't done this sort of thing before. That one. That one. That one. Uh that goes to outside. Okay, oops. Okay, I was halfway through it, and then I thought of another idea, so I just wanted to skip through this quickly so we can try it. I accidentally placed a block the wrong way. I placed it like that, and I was like, whoops, but then I thought, hang on a minute. What if we done that? Oh, this, this looks pretty crazy. And that one, that one, that one. That one and that one. Uh, that one. Yes and that. I'm trying to think. It's always the bottom right and the top left one. And when you start get, <laughs> getting to, to blocks that only have two of them instead of all four of them, it works out to be a little bit harder. We'll have that one and that one. That one and that one. Now I've got to do it upside down, which is even harder. That one and that one. That one. That one and that one. Oh, I really like that. That's really made the logs a feature of the floor instead of just a floor. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic, even. I really, really like that. So, for the lighting in here, I think we can get away with mostly torches due to the amount of door frames that we have here. So, we'll have that one, that one, and the slabs. Now, we can go on this one and this one. I should probably just put the torches on first. That one and that one, that one and that one. Don't want it around that one. Here we will have to have a sort of beacon there, maybe. I don't know how much light we really need. But this is plenty of torches in here. And putting this little design around this is so nice. I absolutely, I love it. Whoops. What happened there? That I think I must have placed it on the torch or something. There and there. Um... I could do it on either side of the stairs. That'll give enough light. <laughs> That's a little baby one. That one and that one. That should give enough light to the corner of this hallway then as well. Oh, stop it. There we go. And then that one. And what we'll do to test is we'll make it night time. And just make sure that all the rooms that we've got so far are, are, are lit, lit enough. 
Uh, we want here set to night time. Any dark spots in this hallway? Not really. Nothing in the kitchen. It's nicely lit in the bathroom. That room's undone. That's the dining room. That's not done. That's a bathroom. That's not done. Nicely lit in here. A little bit dark in the... We said that we liked it being a little bit atmospheric. A little bit darker in here. But... I feel like this might be a little bit too dark. No, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a torch there and there. It's still mirrored. They're still symmetrical. I wish it wouldn't do that. Oh, I put a torch in it. There we go. <laughs> what was going on there? And that one. It's still symmetrical. Uh, but it definitely lights up that enough over there now. This is pretty good. A little bit of a dark spot in the corner. But I don't really mind that you do get dark spots in your room. Uh... We've got a couple of beacons in the middle there, but nothing really here. I mean, those torches are there. Is that sort of light enough? I don't know. It's night time. You don't want it lit up like it's day in here, I suppose, do you? Hmm. And what about this last little room around the corner here to the stairs? Oh, that's plenty light enough. Yeah, 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 that's fine. You probably want good lighting around stairs. <laughs> you don't want to be going up and down stairs in the dark, do you? I must... I must sort of agree with that. Let's make it daytime with them again. Okay, oops. So, that's all nicely lit up. Let's work on this staircase that goes up here. What is this room again? This is another little rumpus room, isn't it? Yeah. A sitting room or something like that. So, we used, for this staircase, spruce. And then acacia logs up the side. I don't know if we'll have the same opportunity to do that on the other staircase because i think there's a wall on either side isn't there yeah there's going to be a wall on either side we're going to have uh no not quartz snow up here i didn't mean to do <laughs> two at a time but as soon as i don't want to argue i thought i'd put them all down there and there yeah no acacia wood up either side so it's just uh it was spruce and not dark oak, right? Yeah, spruce. Beautiful. So, spruce stairs. I think keeping them the same is probably in our best interest. If you have them different, I don't think it usually works out that well. Uh, so, we'll have that one, that one, and that one. That one. What's the quickest way to do it? Probably like this. Now, this is the height that we want. So, we can now drop this back down. Beautiful. I like that. That's not looking too bad at all. Now, this will have probably a log here, which is actually higher than all the other logs that we've got so far because we have this um, floor spot, this block of floor. Yeah, yeah, this block on top is going to be a floor here. You see, we, we, we carefully measured that out. So we need to be able to hide this area up with with snow blocks and such. Because where this yellow is, is where the floor is going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Whew. I thought I had something wrong then. I was like, oh no, what, what have I done wrong? Something's not lined up. No, it's all good. It's all good. And we'll do this one. That goes up to... I haven't done a blueprint for the attic yet. Because again, this is like a bonus section to the house. Um, again, if you guys are still enjoying it, after a certain point, we'll be able to add a, a basement and an attic and stuff like that and sort of add more to it. It's a nice big staircase going up to an attic, so it could be used really well. We definitely have the headroom and the size to do like a couple of more bedrooms or something like that up there. But we've got so many sitting rooms already and a lot of bedrooms. I mean, up here, it is like... All bedrooms, isn't it? Pretty much. I mean, you guys have all the ideas in the comment section below from episodes ago of what you else you wanted up here. As long as it was sort of to the same theme as the house. But like if we had, let's say, for example, if all of these were bedrooms, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten bedrooms... Ensuite, 
bathroom and uh, walk-in wardrobe are those two rooms. I know that. Um, so that would be, yeah, like 10 bedrooms. If we made it nine bedrooms, we could then have another bathroom up here. Nine bedrooms, man. I mean, you're talking about a bed and breakfast slash like miniature hotel at that rate, aren't you? It's pretty crazy. In fact, that, this could technically be a, a little hotel with all the sitting rooms in it and the library. Uh, it could definitely be one. It just hasn't got a big enough car park, really, even for a small hotel with nine bedrooms. Maybe I can add a little car park to the side, and this could be a bed and breakfast instead. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, so now we've done all that, we can start putting down some detail in here. Some shelves, some paintings, some plant pots and stuff like that. Now, I think we're going to go with some sea lantern and oak leaf... Uh, plants in any corners of three blocks high with the ceiling i think i want to keep the ceiling a little bit more blank in here i want to draw the attention to the things in the room instead of on the ceiling a little bit more in here at least than in other parts of the house so anywhere where there's like a divot or anything like that that's all the divots we put a plant in so it's two of those and then we want to have anywhere that is a nice large space of wall we'll have some paintings no, um, I don't mind two by twos. In fact, I want two by twos. Are you okay walking in two by two? Hurrah, hurrah. Why have I not got any two by two paintings? Hey, there we uh. oh, Well, it sort of, it sort of is okay for a Tudor house. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Those two there. Any space here? No, not really for any paintings. We do have a nice space here for um, two single ones would look best here. Come on, don't mess me about, thank you. <laughs> and then a double wide one there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. That's nicely spaced out. Now we can get some string and black carpet we're using in this house uh, for some nice tables or, or, or shelves. Do I like that, or do I want an actual shelf? Like an actual, like, miniature table in here with some nice dark oak and some nice slabs. Thank you. And that one. So I don't want to do any smaller than that, because we're already down to a two-wide path here, and I don't want it to feel that cramped, so you have to be a little bit careful. Uh, I can have this one here and that one there. That's pretty nice how it sort of goes from the left to the right. And then we shall have one and uh, here, a three wide one and a nice two wide one there. Yeah, I like that. I like them just being off, off being mirrored. That's pretty good. Plant pots and I want some nice sort of colorful flowers. So I'm going to go for some red ones. I'll have a red one. I want another red one on here. And then, like, I don't want a white one. What about a nice mushroom? Who wouldn't want a mushroom? Yeah, why not? That's <laughs> very witch-looking over here, isn't it? <laughs> Spiders and fire by the looks and mushroom. Maybe maybe it was a witch that, that lived in the here. I do like the idea of this being a hotel, though. I really like that idea. I really like that idea. Okay, anything else? Any, there isn't much more to do down a hallway. Uh, you don't want to block up the walkways too much. You just want to sort of fill it out. And I think that's pretty good. I don't like this being seen. No visible. This was a, uh, something that I missed. Hmm. And then logs. I was thinking about either either the white or the logs up the side here. Let's try the logs first. Yeah, I like that. I don't mind that at all. Okay, that's got to do it though for this episode, guys. Unfortunately, we are out of time. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!